This coolant hose has a uh, rubber o ring on it. I'm going to back that as well. A uh, couple of coolant hoses here. I uh, might have to take the oil filter off to get at this one, um, which I think I'm going to do at this point. Basically, five to two O rings. So there's two O rings on that. I'm going to remove this uh, pump guide. These are stars. those two and I'm going to mark those um, I put lots of things in little plastic bags I keep the bolts there and that and then I usually put a bit of duct tape grill tape on them and write on that uh, just to uh, help categorize things because when you are doing this for the first time uh, there's a lot of things going on and uh, um, you know, you come back to parts and you're like, well, what the heck was that, even though it's in a bag. So uh, it just helps you uh, identify them, and, uh, and uh, that's that. And now I actually have to remove the sprocket off of And it basically just slides off the bearing here. That's with a small screwdriver. I think I have to push that back in a little. As I slide this out, I've got to push the bearing back in. Okay, I finally figured this out. You have to press really hard and keep the bearing and the sleeve all the way at the back. And eventually you can pull this guy off far enough that you can get enough slack okay, to basically then let this okay, go slack and you can get hold of the chain okay, and drop the chain and I'm actually going to take the, the bearing and the sleeve out now and put those in there and I'm going to zip tie all of this lot together because um, there's a spacer there, there's a big, there's a big crank bearing there but, uh, uh, I guess that's the drive shaft bearing, not the crank bearing, I'll take that back. Um, I'm going to zip tie all that lot together so I know how it fits. It was quite an experiment. It's one of those where you're doing lots of tugging and pulling and you're not quite sure if it's right. I reread the manual about four times, there's only one picture. Um, so I'm, it's a bit of a crapshoot. But I finally figured that out, so I'm now going to bag and tag that one. I'm going to remove the two uh, copper bolts from the uh, water pump it sits over the water pump drive chain. Well, not there. There we go. Let's just get loose. that guy out. That's the water pump cover. Okay, gonna zip lock back that. All of these bolts. Uh, photograph 19A in the Haynes manual says to pull out the roll pin 
Well, there's this gizmo in here that I am slowly getting to come out. I don't think I get hold of it now. I'm not really quite sure what it does. I think I've pulled it out far enough to. I was coming out until I stopped the camera. And I actually got to the point of where I can't leave it, leave it up anymore. It's like a split pin type deal. And I'm really not sure what its purpose is. I've got I pulled it up quite a way, it feels like. And now I'm just easing water pump. Well, I'm not sure that's a ticket here. Okay. Well, I guess what it does is it goes in the bottom. I was supposed to push that all the way up. I managed to get it out without doing that. But there's a water pump out. Oh, I've got a few scups. Scuffs and nicks and bangs where I guess bits of whatever hit it. Um, I shall probably open that up later. Um, it's in the water circuit, so I believe. So I don't think there should be any debris in there, but I will open it up and check it just for the heck of it. As soon as I'm going to strip this whole puppy down.